What's up guys, I'm Dragon Bees, and I am recording this live on my stream on Twitch at the moment. We're just about to watch the Pokemon Presents, uh, uh, the one that's obviously it's the 3rd of August today. So uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff, including Scarlet and Violet news, um, which is very exciting. I also have uh, Petal with me this time, because Petal is here um, after, uh, at, at the end of the stream, because we were playing Astroneer and uh, we were doing some yeah. shiny hunting. I am the presence. So, um, it's meant to be a, uh, 20 minute, uh, presentation. So it'll be interesting to see what they say. Predictions for me, uh, I think we'll get some sort of trailer or, or something along those lines. And I, I think we might see the gimmick. I don't know if there's going to be much more than that because there's been so many leaks, um, I, I'm kind of hoping Pokemon doesn't just panic and go, well, everything's been leaked, let's put it all out, because I, I don't really want that to be the case, but I guess we'll see. Um, and Dragonite, he better be there, otherwise I will cry. No It'll be a riot. I swear to God, Dark, I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go, let's see what's happening, come on. <laughs> Pikachu. Hello, everyone. I see Buzzwell. Buzzwell confirmed. No. <laughs> oh god, I see Ultra Beasts. I see Circuit Tree. Alright, now it needs to go to. Oh god. But before that, I'm happy to share some news about the Pokemon World Championships that will be held in London, UK, this year from August 18th to August 21st. Yeah, sorry about that. The moment their video started, <laughs> it went really quiet. <laughs> Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International, and I'm delighted to share with you updates on our annual Pokemon World Championships. After three years, our global community will come together August 18th to 21st in London for not only intense Pokemon battles, but also to be together, celebrating old friendships and creating new ones, all in the spirit of friendly competition. We are expecting thousands of players from around the world to compete in this year's Yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't sure if they were going to talk about worlds or not. And Pokémon Tournament Deluxe events. Many players had long journeys earning their invitation over several years, and we are thrilled to learn who will earn the title of World Champion in 2022. This year, we are also <laughs> adding <laughs> many new elements to the show, <laughs> beginning with two new Pokémon titles. Please join me in welcoming Pokémon Go where nearly 100 players will compete across two age divisions. Wow, okay, they're Pokemon adding Poke... Ah, uh, yeah, New Unite was going to be a thing. Pokemon Go! These players there you have go. Battled all that's year cool. For their shots Not that I'm a competitive player, but that's cool. very first world champion in these new categories. We also have a few surprises in store for fans attending in person, including our largest ever Pokemon Center World's Pop-Up Shop. For those unable to attend in person, Aww. all the action from wherever Aww, you are that's so cute. live streams. I haven't seen that yet. Including coverage of every championship match for each age division. Pokemon tournaments are held around the world, and we hope the competition at the World Championships inspire many new players to make new friends through battle. And one more thing. It's my honor to unveil for fans today our new Pokemon World Championships Pikachu trophy. Take a look. Oh, a new trophy. Is it fancy? Why, why does it have to be P Pikachu? Oh, okay, it is cute. As much as it's Pikachu, that's a oh, that's adorable. Pikachu's uh, Pikachu's holding a trophy London, on the trophy. Now, I would like to hand <laughs> it back to Mr. Utsunomiya. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. With the Pokemon World Championships returning after three years. Please look forward to exciting battles to keep you on the edge of your seats. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our games. Oh, they are doing Pogo news! We held in-person Pokemon Go Fest events in Berlin and Seattle. Did not expect that. this weekend, that. we will be holding an event in Sapporo, Japan. Mysterious creatures known as Ultra Beasts. Oh, that's why they're in the background. These will all gather together during the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale uh, event. It will be held on August 27th. 
The finale is a global event that can be enjoyed by trainers wherever they are in the world. Trainers will be able to encounter Pokemon they may not normally see in the wild. They can also encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman <gasps> and complete special research. With a ticket though. Shaman? Oh, uh, why does that be a ticketed thing though? And what has become of Professor Willow, who was sucked into Ultra Space through an Ultra Wormhole? Stay tuned for Wait, the what? story's conclusion. Wait, <laughs> what? I missed that! When did Willow get us eaten by a wormhole? Additionally, <laughs> Daily Adventure Incense has been added to the game. It's a special I do, I do like, I do like the Daily. The Daily thing's cool. Minutes. It can attract Pokémon not normally seen in your area. And rumors say it might even attract legendary Pokemon. It does, because I nearly caught a Galarian Articuno the other day. Every day. It appeared, and I grabbed it, and then it we've seen got Pokemon out. Pokemon from every region <laughs> debut in Pokemon Go. There are now over 700 Pokemon you can register to the Pokedex. Whether you're making new friends at Pokemon Go Fest or having heated battles at the Pokemon World Championships, the entire world is the stage for Pokemon Go, and our adventures are just getting started. Pokemon Unite, the hot app for Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Oh. Unite news. Pokemon Unite has continued to grow and evolve since its release one year ago. In celebration of its first anniversary, it feels like it's been here forever. Not only new Pokemon and features to the game, but also many events and campaigns. A new type of quick battle, Pika Party, will begin today, August third. Pika Party. <laughs> in this special type of quick battle in celebration of our first anniversary, all Pokemon on the field, both wild and players, oh are Pikachu. <laughs> It's a Chonkachu! <laughs> it's look at him! He's chunky! Buzzwool uh, will be joining Unite ooh. Battles starting today, August 3rd. Hey. Buzzwool is an all-rounder that can grapple opposing Pokemon and launch them into the air. Run amok in battle with the way he just casually throws boost, the ball into the temporarily increases Buzzwool's movement speed and basic attack speed each time it knocks out an opposing Pokemon. This first anniversary is just the start of what's to come in Pokemon Unite. We're planning more events for September as well, so please stay tuned. And we're gifting Unite licenses in Hollowware for Pikachu, Lucario, Blastoise, Snorlax, and Sylveon in celebration of the first anniversary. Okay, Lucario. You see nothing. There was no. There was no mouse on the bar. Shush. <laughs> Wait, so what is this? Is this red in Gen 2 where he was? What is this? What is this? Is this Masters? This is Masters, isn't it? No? What is this? Yeah, it's yeah. Masters. Oh god, I was having that same moment, Onyx. I was having that same moment. I thought it was gonna be Gen 2 mm. something. Oh god. I was I was thinking it was gonna be let's go Johto. <laughs> I was so ready for it. Has that been out three years? Oh hello. Oh yeah, you to return. <laughs> What's this? Ah, oh, cafe mix yeah. The Pokemon yep. Cafe Remix game, and it's hungry. Make delicious drinks and dishes God, I love this game. I play it still nearly every day. Time. Just a little bit Once here and there. It's just, it's just fun. It's just dumb fun. I can join your staff. Yeah, I need to try and get in this time. Same. Here are some hints on how to play the one minute cooking puzzle mode to satisfy Mewtwo. Tip one, gather great staff. Mewtwo likes to order small plates. So gather staff that specialize in small plates. Pikachu, Squirtle, the five-star chef Victini, and the newly arrived Latias are Latias. the orders. Lati. If you want to aim for the high score, try raising your Pokemon staff level. Go to the Pokemon menu to start raising their it's staff It's so cute too. I love the aesthetic of this game. It's so challenge. cute. It's time to begin Look at Victini. Look at, how can you not love Victini? Just keep on mixing. As There's a Metang in chat. Can. 
Once you begin one minute cooking, keep on mixing the Pokemon to rack up those combos. Use these it's so cute. delicious drinks it's and dishes. It's adorable. And you should be able to Look how happy Latias is. We hope you'll give yeah. one minute cooking a try. Yeah. And there's more. Following Latias, who just appeared today, Latios will also appear in the future. Oh, Wait, there's even more. We're getting we both of them. We're getting both of them. Today. This is your chance to get Latias and Latios. Latios yeah. Pokemon Cafe Remix is available at no cost to start and is playable on Nintendo Switch systems and mobile devices. Oh, uh oh. Uh, all right, well, here's the starters from Scarlet and Violet, so I assume we're getting into that now. Next up, an update on the Pokemon Scarlet yep. and Pokemon Violet games. Here we go. What are we going to get? Trailer. I was right. Trailer. <laughs> Oh. Look at the growlets. Oh, they're so cute! Oh, Houndoom! We're in Houndoom! Regional Whoopers. There was regional Whoopers. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, I see a bit, bit ahead of you. Attention, please. Today, we begin... The Treasure Hunt. The what? Paldea. Travel across Paldea. How dare! Get to know the region. So we got a we got a name, Paldea. Oh my god, they are transport. <laughs> go go. Oh, nature. The rich culture. That was a sunflora plant thing. The Pokemon. Fletchling! What was that? Dragonair. There was a Wait, where? Oh, Dragonair! Ah! Oh, they're in there! He's in there! Ah! <laughs> where will you go? Ah! Who will you meet? What will you achieve? What is that? What is that thing? With you will be your Pokemon. Journey together. Learn together. I'm so confused. Grow together. Pet. Yay, no bat, no van. Yeah. Hi, oh, Dragon, Sizzle, I did the there. What's that? Whoa, what the? What? It's the gimmick! They're crystallized! What the hell? Crystalliforms. Oh, they're so pretty! Oh, oh look at the... Ah! What's he doing? Oh, he's doing things! <laughs> What's he doing? Ah! Treasure hunt crystal begin. Dragonite. What was that? Is that the gimmick? Is Dragonite getting a crystal version? We're it now seems starting like, to get a clear it seems to be the gimmick. Of your adventures to come in the Paldea region. I like the name, Paldea. I'd like to dive a little deeper into the information oh. presented. So let's take a closer look together, shall we? Ah! Oh! oh my god, I'm so overloaded. The <laughs> titles in the Pokemon series are the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. These titles will be open world RPGs. A first oh, for the they're Pokemon so series. pretty! Sprawling landscapes and vibrant towns weave together to form the Paldea region, where your new adventure will unfold. These are the legendary Pokemon, Koridon and Miraidon. You'll rely on one of them as a partner in your adventure. Climb oh. on! And together you'll dash across grassy fields. Move across water and glide through the sky. Your partner can change forms as needed while you explore every nook and cranny of the Where region with them. Oh my god. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. Oh! 
We're student. Oh, that's Poltergeist. And a special independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. Interesting. Three grand Three. stories are waiting for you. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. Oh! In these games, there is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Chart your very own course along Victory Road. What is that thing? <laughs> set it, Anne. Set it, Anne. The other two stories you'll experience hold many surprises and Ooh. discoveries as well. Which story will you begin with? How will you progress through them? It is Three all up stories? To you. So we're getting like the main normal stuff plus extra like paths. Professor Sada and Professor Turo, research legends passed on in the Paldea region. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher who teaches biology. You'll have your battle loving friend, Nimona. <laughs> Sorry, and her, her, her name sounds like Nimona. <laughs> and a great coach. Oh no. There's also Penny, a shy student in your grade. Ah, uh, she's got an Eevee There bag. are gym leaders, too. Like Grusha, the ice-type gym leader. The people you meet in Paldea are sure to enrich your adventures. Of course. Many of co different species uh, of Pokemon look at them. also call the Paldea region home. Oh, right. This Pokemon oh. is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Uh, Fido. Fido. Oh! Are the squishy Pokemon. Ah, it's a, it, it, it's a it's 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 a bakery dog. A <laughs> horn that can freeze its surroundings. Of course, we also have the Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner. It's a bakery dog. Quakoko <laughs> and Quaxley. Enjoy meeting lots of Pokemon. Magic. And complete your Pokedex as part of your adventure. I'm definitely getting a Fido and calling it Philo. Oh, we could call it Philo. Oh, yeah. Aww. By using the Union Circle, you can enjoy co-op play with up to three friends. Okay. Cool. You can go look for Pokemon you haven't yet discovered. Or even ride together to race across the map. What? Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with we're family and friends. Literally able to do what we think we thought we were gonna be able to do. Yep. Terrestrialize. Terrestrial? The terrestrial phenomenon makes Pokemon shine like gems. Oh this is the game exists more for everyone then. Some of them have got their special forms, though. All Pokemon in the though. Paldea region are able to terrestrialize, which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its move they, Like, they've got a different design, though. Does all of them have it, then? Must do. Some Pokemon will change, change type, type when they terrestrialize. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what type they become seems to depend on that Pokemon's Terra type. Liz For Eevee. example... An Eevee would typically remain normal type after terastalizing, but there could be oh. Eevee that become grass or water type after terastalizing. We hope you'll try to catch Pokemon with That's rare awesome. Terra types. Gasly and Haunter. Terra raid hmm. battles. Wait, is this going to be like Dynamax? Rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. It is! It's like, it's this, it's you can like... challenge Terra Pokemon in these battles with up to three other Yes! Players. This is a new kind of raid battle. Yes! Or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. Ah, oh, yes! Try to with your allies to get the upper hand in these battles. This is how you can get rare Terra Pokemon. Ah, oh, like, this is what we wanted! Terra Pokemon... You'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. Oh, I hope we can shiny hunt like this too. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, what a shiny terrestrialized Pokemon gonna look like. Oh my god. We've kept all the things you love about Pokemon. 
while evolving oh, my boy. <laughs> in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Oh. We hope you look forward to the day you set out on your adventure. Ah, uh, looks like it. The Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games are available to pre-order at participating retailers now. Oh, we get a special Pikachu that learns Our fly. <laughs> study in the Paldea region begins in three months. We eagerly await your enrollment. That's all for today's presentation. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay there? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say okay. Okay, let me have my my, my quick word, and, and Pedal can say what they've got if they want to say anything. Okay, let me just get my head around this. Okay, for, so for starters, I said a trailer. That's no surprise. I knew I had a feeling they were gonna show off the um the gimmick. Not what I expected. Like it's bizarre, but I love the fact that it is now open world to the point that we can just wander everywhere together. I was worried it was going to be limited. It looks like it's just go wherever. The the raid battles is just another version of Dynamax, but a little bit different in that it's not turn-based, um, so it's going to require a bit more strategy in that, which is cool. I'm hoping it's shiny. I hope shinies are a thing in that. That's That would be a really cool, like, thing to do. Lots of new Pokemon confirmed. I like the Wooper. I don't know about anyone else in chat or what pedal thinks, but I actually kind of like the Wooper. The Wooper's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, um, so much. Oh my lord. Um, poison ground Wooper could be cool. Yeah, it's fascinating. Like uh, the dog. Oh my god, the dog. The the little the little the little pastry dog. The little like ah, oh, I want one of those. <laughs> oh god. Um. Yeah, that blew me away. That was better than what I was expecting. I wasn't, um, and it's a ripoff Yamper, so rude. Yeah, but no, Yamper's different. Yamper's a corgi. Yamper's a corgi. That was just a, a, a sentient loaf of bread, basically. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was incredible. But, uh, yeah, um, so it looks like the legendaries we're going to get at the start, or close to the start, so we can travel around. By the looks of things. Um, the whole student thing is interesting too. I have an interesting take on it. We've not really been in that position. And uh, three stories. So we're getting the traditional gym run story. And then there's two others that take you down a different path as well. So you can choose where you want to go and what you want to do. What I'm hoping is, is that you can work on any and all of them at the same time kind of thing. And I'm also hoping that there's a um, tracking system for it, like steps is where you are on that tracking system, I'm hoping. But I guess we'll see. But very cool. And the terrestrialized... Like... Oh, go on. I feel like the uh, the whole quest in the store might be you know, somewhat... Probably taken from Arcus as well, so you have the individual tracking and stuff like that, so... If they if they there? if they take it from there and they and they bring... And they brought in some stuff from Sword and Shield as well, as it was very clear about that... Um, we might be on a really good game here. I mean, I, I found both, obviously, Arceus and Sword and Shield are great games, but combining the two into this game could be a good thing, so... Taking the best aspects from both, basically. Mm, yeah, yeah, because they, they sort of, you know, Sword and Shield had, like, the environmental stuff being a bit, you know, uh, like, with the wild area and, obviously, the Crown Tundra and that expanded upon that wild area concept a bit more. Um... And then obviously they tested out the free roaming stuff with Legends Arceus to some degree, and so there's the two elements kind of fusing together. And the here. various quests and such, mm. like different. Yeah, no, out. absolutely. That was cool. Everything else is really cool, you know. Um, Unite is cool. Uh, the Pikachu mode looks like a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> and then um, obviously Cafe Mix is amazing. Pokemon Go was a bit of a surprise that there was actually news. Usually that kind of gets done separately, but that was cool to cover that. But yeah. Um, anything missed about the multiplayer? Yeah. Uh, so literally, it's full-on co-op. Four players uh, can go in, um, and you just wander around catch Pokemon. Uh, there's a similar battle mechanic to, like, Dynamax, except it's not turn-based. It's 
and then you can catch and work together. There's a lot of... It's well worth watching what they announce because it really covers an awful lot. I know you're not. I know you don't like much about Pokemon, Caden, but it would explain it better than I can. It was very, very good. And of course, the absolute best thing ever is that my boy, my boy, my boy Dragonite is in the game from the get go, and that makes me so fucking happy. <laughs> like that. I saw no Absol. <sighs> there's still time though there's still time <laughs> there, there are some regions there that would lend themselves to an absol yeah. or, or there are some areas not regions there are some air, uh, like trains I, I that, what you meant yeah so anyway um so yeah uh for those of you who are watching this on youtube thank you for watching it on, uh, on youtube uh I, let me know what you think in the comments below about what that was all about because that was an incredible presentation and i don't feel spoiled as in, like, I don't feel I've been over, like, told anything. I feel like it showed a good amount to get us an idea of how the game is going to work without making it too spoilery. So, um, but yeah, until the next video and the next reaction, I'll see you then, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.